As a skilled nature photographer, I've explored countless breathtaking locations, but there's something out of the Pacific Northwest that has always called out to me. The majestic landscapes, diverse wildlife, and untamed wilderness beckon like an irresistible siren's song. With a sense of anticipation and excitement, I meticulously planned my week-long camping trip to this enchanting corner of the world. I went through my gear with care, ensuring that I had packed all the essentials, my trusty photography equipment, camping supplies, and survival tools. The Pacific Northwest could be unforgiving, but I was prepared for whatever it had in store for me. The day of my departure finally arrived, and my heart raced as I loaded my vehicle and set off towards a remote wilderness. As I drove, my mind was filled with vivid images of the stunning landscapes I was about to encounter and the wildlife I hoped to capture with my camera. The journey was long, but every mile brought a fresh sense of awe and wonder. The road meandered through dense forests of towering trees, their leaves a vibrant tapestry of colors that seemed to sway in a rhythmic dance. The further I traveled, the more I felt a profound sense of peace enveloping me, as if I was leaving my worries and the chaos of everyday life behind. As I reached my destination, I was greeted by a secluded campsite nestled among the lush greenery and serenaded by a chorus of birdsong. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect spot. I took a moment to savor the scene, inhaling the crisp, fresh air and feeling the gentle warmth of the sun on my face. The campsite was a picturesque haven nestled within the untamed beauty of the Pacific Northwest wilderness. A small flat clearing in the midst of towering evergreens provided the perfect spot for my tent. The trees formed a natural canopy overhead, their branches swaying gently in the breeze, creating a soothing rustling sound that echoed throughout the camp. The forest floor was covered in a thick layer of soft pine needles and scattered with leaves in various shades of green, orange, and brown, creating a vibrant tapestry underfoot. A few steps away from my tent, a crackling campfire sat in the center of a circle of large rocks, its warm glow casting flickering shadows on the surrounding trees. To one side of the campsite, a babbling brook flowed over smooth, moss-covered stones, its crystal-clear waters providing a soothing soundtrack to the serene environment. The air was crisp and fresh, carrying the scents of damp earth, pine, and wood smoke, which blended together to create a fragrance unique to the forest. A short distance from the camp, a well-worn trail led deeper into the woods, inviting exploration and adventure. The trail was flanked by ferns and other native plants, creating a lush green corridor that seemed to beckon me further into the heart of the wilderness. With a sense of purpose, I set about making this little corner of the wilderness my temporary home. I pitched my tent, organized my belongings, and familiarized myself with the area. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, I decided to take a short hike to scout for potential photography spots. As I walked through the forest, I was struck by the sheer abundance of life that thrived around me. The soft crunch of leaves underfoot, the distant calls of birds, and the soothing scent of pine needles filled my senses. My mind raced with possibilities and I couldn't wait to capture the magic of this place with my camera. The following morning, I awoke before the first light of dawn, eager to start my day. As the sun began to rise, casting a golden glow across the landscape, I grabbed my camera and ventured deeper into the woods. My eyes scanned the terrain, seeking out subjects to photograph. The world around me seemed to come alive, and I felt an indescribable connection to the land as I snapped photo after photo, attempting to capture the ethereal beauty of the scene. Over the next few days, I found myself completely immersed in the wilderness. I photographed everything from the majestic elk grazing in the meadows to the crystal clear streams that wound their way through the forest floor. The connection I felt to the land was unlike anything I had ever experienced, and I knew that this trip would leave an indelible mark on my soul. I had been out exploring and photographing the breathtaking landscapes of the Pacific Northwest for several days, each one more captivating than the last. With each click of the camera shutter, I felt a sense of accomplishment, knowing that I was preserving the beauty of this place in my images. One evening, as I returned to my campsite after a long day of hiking and photography, I eagerly scrolled through the photos I'd taken, hoping to relive the day's wonders. My heart skipped a beat when I stumbled upon an image of a peculiar creature that I had unwittingly captured. The creature captured in my photograph was a mesmerizing blend of the familiar and the extraordinary. Its body was roughly the size of a large dog, covered in a coat of dense, shimmering fur that seemed to change colors ever so subtly, as if mimicking the hues of the surrounding environment. Its legs were long and slender, 
but with a powerful musculature that suggested it was capable of both incredible speed and agility. The creature's paws were large and padded, with curved, sharp claws that spoke to its ability to navigate the rough terrain of the forest with ease. The head of the creature was perhaps the most striking feature. It bore a pair of large, almond-shaped eyes, with irises that seemed to hold an almost otherworldly glow. The eyes conveyed an intelligence and depth that seemed to pierce right through me, as if the creature could see straight into my soul. Its snout was elongated, reminiscent of a wolf or a fox, with sharp, pointed ears that stood erect and twitched at the slightest sound. The creature's nose was moist and black, and it appeared to be constantly sniffing the air, as if searching for something or someone. The most peculiar aspect of the creature, however, was a long, sinuous tail that extended from the base of its spine. The tail was covered in the same shimmering fur as the rest of its body, and it moved with a head knotted grace that seemed to have a life of its own. As I studied the image of the creature, I couldn't shake the feeling that it was something truly unique, a being that defied categorization and existed outside the realm of known species. What on earth is that? I wondered, my curiosity peaked. As I continued to review my images, I noticed that the creature seemed to have been watching me from a distance throughout my trip. The realization sent a shiver down my spine, but it also ignited a spark of determination within me. I need to learn more about this creature and where it came from, I thought, my mind racing with questions and possibilities. The following morning, I awoke with a renewed sense of purpose. After a quick breakfast, I grabbed my camera and set out to explore the surrounding area, searching for any clues that might lead me to the creature or shed light on its origins. I moved through the forest with a keen eye, scanning the landscape for any signs of the enigmatic being. As I trekked deeper into the wilderness, I began to notice subtle changes in the environment. The air seemed to grow heavier and an eerie silence descended upon the woods. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end, but my determination to uncover the truth about the creature only grew stronger. For hours, I wandered through the forest, following the faintest of tracks and any hint that might lead me closer to the creature. My mind was filled with a mix of excitement and apprehension, wondering what I would find and what secrets the creature might hold. As the day wore on, I stumbled upon a series of unusual markings etched into the bark of the trees, forming a pattern that seemed to beckon me forward. The markings appeared to have been made by the creature, perhaps as a form of communication or a trail left behind for me to follow. Could this be a message from the creature? I wondered, my heart pounding with anticipation. I followed the trail of markings, my curiosity driving me deeper into the unknown. The sun was beginning to set, casting long shadows across the forest floor and bathing the landscape in an eerie golden glow. As darkness crept in, I knew that I was running out of time, but I couldn't turn back now. As I reached a small clearing, I found myself standing before a hidden cave. The entrance to the cave was an intriguing sight, a stark contrast to the lush forest surrounding it. Partially concealed by an overgrowth of creeping vines and moss-covered rocks, the mouth of the cave seemed to be whispering secrets, inviting me to venture into its depths. The opening was jagged and irregular, as though it had been formed by the forces of nature over countless years. It was just wide enough for me to pass through, but its height gradually diminished as it extended into the darkness, hinting at the narrow passages that lay within. A sense of ancient history animated from the cave, with the walls at the entrance bearing the marks of time, weathered and worn by the elements, with layers of mineral deposits forming intricate patterns on the rough surface. A cool, damp breeze wafted from the cave, carrying with it the earthy scent of the underground world that lay hidden beyond the entrance. The temperature dropped noticeably as I approached, and a shiver ran down my spine. Whether from the cold or the eerie atmosphere, I couldn't be sure. I hesitated for a moment, my curiosity warring with the unsettling sensation that had settled over me. Taking a deep breath, I mustered my courage and stepped into the cave, the shadows swallowing me whole. The air inside the cave was damp and cool, carrying with it the scent of the earth and the faintest hint of something else, something I couldn't quite place. The walls were rough and cold to the touch, the cave's interior illuminated only by the weak beam of my flashlight, which seemed to struggle against the oppressive darkness. As I ventured further into the cave, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was trespassing in a place where I didn't belong. My steps grew hesitant, my heart pounding in my ears as the darkness seemed to close in around me. Each echoing footstep resonated within the cave, 
as if announcing their presence to unseen entities lurking in the shadows. A gut feeling like an alarm ringing deep within me told me that I wasn't welcome here. The sensation was almost palpable, a tangible pressure that urged me to turn back to leave the secrets of the cave undiscovered. As much as I wanted to learn more about the mysterious creature that had led me here, I couldn't ignore the instinctual warning that told me to retreat. With a heavy heart, I decided to heed my instincts and leave the cave. As I retraced my steps, the darkness seemed to cling to me, reluctant to release me from its grasp. When I finally emerged into the fading daylight, I felt a mixture of relief and disappointment wash over me. I reluctantly left the cave behind and made my way back to my campsite, the fading daylight casting long shadows across the forest floor. When I finally reached my campsite, I felt a sense of relief wash over me as the familiar surroundings welcomed me back. The warmth of the fire and the comforting aroma of a simple meal cooking over the flames helped to dispel a lingering unease that clung to me from my encounter with the cave. As night settled over the forest, I sat by the fire, pondering the strange events of the day. The mysteries of the mysterious creature and the cave had captured my imagination, and I knew that I couldn't abandon my search just yet. Though I had been warned of the dangers, my curiosity remained undeterred. With a renewed sense of determination, I resolved to venture out once more the following day, intent on exploring more of the area in the hope of learning more about the elusive creature. As I drifted off to sleep, my dreams were filled with shadowy figures and the haunting call of a creature that seemed to defy understanding. The next morning, I awoke to the sound of birdsong and the gentle rustling of leaves as the breeze whispered through the trees. The sunlight filtered through the canopy, casting dappled patterns on the forest floor and filling me with a sense of hope and anticipation. After a hearty breakfast, I packed my gear and set out to explore the surrounding area. The forest seemed to come alive around me, its vibrant greens and the cacophony of birds and insects creating a stark contrast to the eerie silence I had experienced within the cave. As I ventured deeper into the wilderness, my senses sharpened, attuned to any clues that might hint at the creature's presence. I began to notice unusual tracks and markings unlike any I had ever encountered. These enigmatic signs piqued my curiosity and fueled my determination to learn more of the mysterious being that had captivated my imagination. As the forest thickened, I stumbled upon a small, secluded cabin nestled among the trees. A thin stream of smoke wafted from the chimney, inviting me to investigate. Hesitantly, I approached the cabin, wondering if its inhabitants might have any knowledge of the creature. As I knocked on the door, it creaked open to reveal an old man with a weathered face and twinkling eyes. He introduced himself as Tom and welcomed me into his humble abode. As we settled by the fire, I cautiously broached the subject of the creature, showing him the photograph I had taken. Tom's eyes widened as he examined the image. Ah, so you've seen it too, he murmured. This creature has been part of our local folklore for centuries. It's known as the Shadow Walker, a being that's managed to remain elusive to human contact all these years. He shared tales of fleeting glimpses in the moonlight, eerie cries echoing through the forest, and peculiar tracks left behind in the soft earth. The stories only served to fuel my fascination with the Shadow Walker. But as the fire crackled and the shadows danced on the cabin walls, Tom's expression grew somber. Listen, James, he warned, I have to be honest with you. This creature is said to be fiercely territorial, and those who get too close may find themselves in danger. It can be aggressive if it feels threatened. I shifted uncomfortably, my excitement tempered by Tom's warning. But don't you think it's important to learn more about the Shadow Walker? I asked. It could be a new species, a discovery that could change our understanding of the natural world. Tom sighed. I understand your curiosity, and believe me, I felt it too. But sometimes there are things in this world that are best left undisturbed. You must be cautious if you continue your search. As I left the cabin and resumed my journey, Tom's words echoed in my mind. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the forest floor. The air grew colder and an oppressive silence enveloped the woods. Despite my growing unease, I couldn't shake my desire to unravel the mystery of the Shadow Walker. I pressed on, following the trail of peculiar tracks and markings that seemed to lead me deeper into the creature's domain. As darkness enveloped the forest, I stumbled upon a small clearing. The trees seemed to bend inward, their branches reaching for one another as if trying to share whispered secrets. In the center of the clearing stood a massive, gnarled tree, 
its trunk marred by strange gouges and markings that appeared to be the work of the Shadow Walker. I approached the tree cautiously, my heart pounding in my chest. Is this where you've been hiding all this time? I whispered, half expecting the creature to emerge from the shadows. Instead, there was only silence, broken by the distant howl of a wolf or perhaps something else entirely. I shivered, suddenly feeling very alone in the darkness. I decided to head back to my campsite before I test my luck any further poking around where I shouldn't. As I approached the campsite, a sudden, uneasy feeling crept over me, like an icy hand gripping my spine. I slowed my pace, instinctively reaching for the knife I had strapped to my belt. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end as I realized something was amiss. Rounding the last bend, my heart nearly stopped as I caught sight of the creature standing in my campsite, its eerie, reflective eyes fixed on my belongings. It was even more bizarre and fascinating up close. Its body covered in a mixture of fur and scales, with powerful limbs and a long, sinuous tail. Panic and awe wrestled within me as I took in the creature that had haunted my dreams and consumed my thoughts. I knew I had to act quickly to protect myself and drive the creature away from my campsite. It was much larger and stronger than I had anticipated, and I had no idea how it would react to my presence. My hand gripped the knife tighter, but I knew it wouldn't be enough. I recalled the other tools I had packed for my trip, items that might give me the upper hand in this unexpected confrontation. With a deep breath, I reached into my backpack and pulled out the flare gun I had brought for emergencies. I aimed it toward the sky, knowing the bright flash and loud noise might startle the creature and give me a chance to scare it away. Please work, I whispered under my breath as I squeezed the trigger. The flare shot into the sky, its brilliant light illuminating the campsite and the surrounding forest. The creature reared back, startled by the sudden noise and brightness, and I seized the opportunity to make my stand. The tension in the air was palpable as I stood face to face with the shadow walker, its reflective eyes locked onto mine. The creature seemed to study me, perhaps trying to gauge my intentions, and I couldn't help but feel a mixture of awe and fear at the sight of the creature that had consumed my thoughts. As the flare continued to burn in the sky, casting harsh shadows across the campsite, I took a step forward, attempting to muster an air of confidence that I didn't truly feel. I held the knife firmly in my hand, my knuckles turning white with the effort. In my other hand, the portable sound alarm screeched relentlessly, its high-pitched wail echoing through the trees. The shadow walker shifted uneasily, its gaze darting between me and the various items strewn about the campsite. It was clear that the creature was disoriented and unsure of how to react to the situation. Its long, sinuous tail flicked back and forth, betraying its agitation. As I moved closer, the creature let out a guttural snarl, baring its teeth in a clear warning. My heart pounded in my chest as I tried to swallow the fear that threatened to choke me. I knew I had to stand my ground if I was to have any hope of driving the Shadow Walker away. I don't want to hurt you, I said, my voice barely audible above the sound of the alarm. But you need to leave, now. The creature hesitated, its ears twitching at the sound of my voice. For a moment, I thought I saw a flicker of understanding in its eyes, but it was quickly replaced by a renewed sense of wariness. Emboldened by the creature's apparent hesitation, I took another step forward and waved the knife in front of me, the blade glinting in the light of the fading flare. The shadow walker recoiled, its eyes narrowing as it assessed the threat. With a final burst of courage, I slammed my foot on the ground and shouted, Go! The shadow walker let out a low, rumbling growl, but to my relief, it began to back away, its eyes never leaving mine. As it retreated, I noticed the way its powerful limbs moved with a deceptive grace, belying its formidable size and strength. With each step the creature took away from my campsite, I felt a small measure of relief, even as I remained on high alert, prepared for any sudden movements. Eventually, the creature reached the edge of the clearing, where the shadows of the forest seemed to reach out to envelop it. As the shadow walker disappeared into the darkness, I couldn't help but feel a mixture of relief and disappointment. I had come so close to the creature that had captured my imagination, yet the confrontation had only served to underscore the gulf that existed between our two worlds. As the adrenaline from the confrontation gradually faded, I was left with a newfound appreciation for the precarious balance that existed between humans and the natural world. My encounter with the Shadow Walker had taught me that there were still mysteries lurking in the shadows, and that it was crucial to respect the boundaries that nature had set. With a sense of urgency, I set about packing up my gear, 
my hands shaking from the lingering effects of fear and excitement. I knew that I couldn't afford to linger in the creature's territory any longer, and I felt an overwhelming desire to put some distance between myself and the enigmatic being. As I stuffed my belongings in my backpack, I couldn't help but cast furtive glances toward the edge of the clearing, half expecting to see the creature emerge from the darkness once more. The forest seemed to be holding its breath, waiting to see what would happen next. With my gear finally packed, I hoisted the heavy backpack onto my shoulders and began the long trek back to civilization. I moved quickly, my footsteps echoing through the silent forest as I tried to put as much distance between myself and the campsite as possible. As I walked, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I found myself glancing over my shoulder at regular intervals. And each time I did, I caught a glimpse of the creature, the Shadow Walker, observing me from a distance. Its reflective eyes seemed to follow my every move, and I couldn't help but wonder what thoughts were running through its mind. Goodbye, I whispered, my voice catching in my throat as I acknowledged the strange bond that had formed between us, born of curiosity and mutual respect. As the miles passed and the forest began to thin, I couldn't help but reflect on my encounter with the Shadow Walker. Though it had been a terrifying and humbling experience, it had also filled me with a sense of wonder and appreciation for the mysteries that still existed in the world. I thought back to my conversation with the local who had warned me about the creature, and I couldn't help but feel grateful for their advice. They had helped me to understand the importance of respecting the natural world and the creatures that inhabited it, and I knew that I would carry that lesson with me for the rest of my life. As I finally emerged from the forest and stepped back into the world of civilization, I couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness. I knew that I would never forget my encounter with the Shadow Walker, but I also knew that our paths would likely never cross again. I looked back one last time, my eyes scanning the edge of the forest for any sign of the creature, but it was gone, vanished into the shadows as if it had never been there at all. As I continued on my journey home, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the experience I had been granted. I had come face to face with a being that existed on the fringes of human understanding, and I had emerged with a newfound appreciation for the power and beauty of the natural world.